Uh, Cole, congratulations on a uh, fine first cap. Uh, take us through the goal. Um, what was it like for you out there? And, and what was this camp like? Uh, just the experience of, uh, of coming into this camp. Yeah, uh, in regards to the goal, it, it started out with um, some combination play on the right side. And um, before we came in, Greg told me and Kate Cal that he, he'd liked us uh, to be a bit more narrow and try to get on the end of balls in the box. And uh, I believe it was Brian Reynolds played a ball in and probably should have scored the first one, to be honest. I think I uh, hit the header with the, the outside of my head and it, it skimmed past me. But then, you know, Jogo got a good shot off. And, um, you know, I always just try to sniff goals and, and be in the right spot. And then, luckily it bounced me and then I just put it away from there. Next would be Ivis Galarsev. Cole, uh, thanks for the time and congrats on the goal. Thank you. Uh, er, earlier, uh, Greg uh, mentioned that uh, Anthony Hudson was was pushing for to get you on the on the field and uh, because of what you can do in those kind of situations. And it, and it re reminded me of when you guys were with the U20s. And I remember you guys playing Mexico and you scoring those two goals. And mm -hmm. you realize that you guys missed out on such a you know a great chance with that group because of COVID not being able to play in, 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 in the tournaments that you would have played in. How tough was that just whole process for you missing out on that and, what, and, and having to kind of wait for your chance to, to wear the U.S. uniform? And when you got this call, what did you think about that that whole process and, and getting this chance finally to, to get in with the U.S. team? Yeah, I mean, it was a big missed opportunity for a lot of us. Uh, I'm not the only one. I think we came off a pretty good camp that Mexico camp uh, as a group and we were feeling confident going into the next camp and I believe we we're supposed to go to Portugal right after that and then COVID hit so you know for a lot of us the U20 World Cup would have provided a platform to be seen on the world stage and um, you know a lot of guys before that uh, that had played in the last world U20 World Cup were able to get moves to Europe and stuff like that and just were able to be seen by a lot of people and you know our age group missed out on that and um, the thing is that you, you can't change that you got to um, work with what you're given so for me it was about focusing in on Colorado and, and trying to get to the uh, Olympic team earlier this year and um, obviously that didn't happen for me I was I was cut short of that roster as well so you know for me this whole year um, I've worked with one of our coaches at Colorado Chris Little and uh, we've kind of written down the goals and I always wanted to get back in the national team from last December so for me, it was uh, all about making my debut this camp. And, you know, when Greg gave me the opportunity, uh, like you said, um, Anthony was pushing for it. I'm kind of grateful that he was on the bench because, you know, he knows me. Uh, I think we met when I was about 16 years old. So he kind of knows what I can bring. And, um, yeah, I was lucky to get on the field and then just try to make an impact from there. Next would be David Melandra. First of all, can you just like, take, talk about how does it feel to score a goal in that, in that big of a moment? And then secondly, how can you guys prevent a letdown as you get ready to go back into the World Cup qualifying? Yeah, uh, I mean, in that moment, um, you know, I've dreamed about this my whole life to, to play for the national team. And, you know, I've grown up watching uh, all the people play before me. The, the 2014 World Cup was uh, a big moment for me. I can remember watching that every single game and, you know, studying the players. And um, just from then on, I've kind of become really obsessed with trying to make it here. And, uh, for me to finally be here and to score in this moment on my debut, it's um, it's something special, and especially for my family, I, they've sacrificed a lot for me to get here. So I'm super happy in in regards to that. And then um, in regards to the second part, um, you know, I think we'll take the the next week or so, you know, to all kind of get our minds away from soccer and um, focus on our family and and stuff like that, and enjoy the holidays. But you know, we definitely have that qualifying window coming up, and um, for guys like me that. You know, I've never been a part of one of those, but this was a camp where, you know, Greg is really hands on with us and uh, he can kind of see what we're like compared to qualifying windows. Those are short and he's got to perform right away. So I think this was good for us to kind of get to be in front of Greg a lot more. And, you know, now going into the, the next cycle, uh, we got a January camp right before that. And um, hopefully you're in that to try to prove that you can be in the qualifying cycle. Next will be Brian Sharetta. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Cole. Um, congratulations. Um, you. Like you said, you were talking about earlier, you know, you had some setbacks at the start of the year, and then all of a sudden you had this m massive success in Colorado. You have transfer rumors around mm -hmm. with your name surrounding them. And then you get your debut and your goal. And you're talking about your goals that you wanted to achieve, but how does the season and, uh, and particularly your debut and a goal uh, shape your goals for 2022? Um, how elevated are they? Are you able? Do you think you'll be able to share any of them? And uh, yeah. in terms of what you believe you can achieve in the next twelve months? Yeah, I mean, in regards to this camp, I, 
you know, I like to write my goals down, and right before this camp, I actually uh, wrote down on a piece of paper. I left it on my bed, so right when I get home, you know, I see it. And first thing was make my debut. Second thing was score a goal. And for me, it's it's pretty special that actually those things came true. Um, but you know, throughout the year, like I think there was a little bit more expectations from myself and the coaching staff in Colorado to kind of be our main goal scorer or, or one of them. Um, and for me, I kind of un underperformed in, in that regards. Um, I did hit the post a lot this year, which, which I didn't like, but you know, I got to be finishing off those chances. But overall, as the season went on, I think I developed a lot more as a player um, than I was the year before. So for me, you know, it's, I'm always looking to elevate my game. And, and this upcoming year, you know, within the national team, I, I want to be in this January camp. Uh, I want to try to push for one of the qualifying rosters. Uh, and, and I know, you know, a lot of people would say that's, it's going to be pretty tough for me. But, you know, I think throughout my career, I've always been kind of one that's kind of went under the radar. So for me, that's fine. And I'll try to continue to push for that. And then in regards to club, you know, you never know what happens. I definitely want to play in Europe one day. I, I've said that many times. But, um, you know, right now, I'm, I'm just focused on, you know, going back with my family. And then preseason and January camp are coming up. So that's what I'm focused on. Two more questions for Cole, starting with Stuart Cavanaugh. Hey Cole, how are you going, mate? Yeah, uh, congrats, congrats on the uh, debut and uh, scoring a goal. Doesn't yeah. get any better than that. No, no, not much better. <laughs> um, so it's been an incredible 2021 for you, um, as some of the other people have kind of alluded to. Um, what do you what do you put that down to? Um, just this incredible incredible year you've had. You've become a regular with the Rapids. Um, you've you've made your you, your full international debut now. Um, is there any is there any one thing that you can put that down to or? Yeah, I mean, I'd say for me, it's you know always being able to bounce back from the setbacks and you know never getting too high and never getting too low. I think coming into this year, I was in December camp. I was kind of at a high, and then you know I came into preseason and uh, I wasn't starting for most of preseason. I had to work my way into the starting lineup at Colorado, and you know I started the first couple games, but didn't have uh, very good games there. I got benched after that, and that was kind of my wake up call for the start of the year. So. Um, from then on, my mentality, you know, it's, it's always been to outwork everybody else and, and you know, stay focused and um, kind of just have a stronger uh, mentality than most people. So, you know, as the year went on, I, I kind of grew into that role in Colorado and uh, I felt the trust that Robin Frazier gave me. And, you know, it gave me a lot of confidence to go throughout the year and, and perform well and help our team finish first in the West. And, um, you know, I think towards the end of the year, uh, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get the call or not because, uh, I wasn't starting as many games as I would like to in Colorado, but <clears throat> once I was given the opportunity, I was ecstatic, and uh, I just wanted to come into camp and prove to Greg that you know I can be here, I can be on qualifying rosters, and uh, hopefully be a big part of the, the U.S. Uh, program in years to come. Last question comes from Kadia Costarina. Thanks, Michael. Cole, you, of course, achieved what you wrote down on that piece of paper, which is super special, yeah. but in general, what did you encounter in this camp, and what do you take from it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like under Greg, uh, it's crazy how much you learn within a short period of time. And, you know, I learned a lot under Robin Frazier back in Colorado as well. But, you know, it's it's a little bit different of a style here. And uh, you pick up things so fast. And he's just so um, detail-oriented in everything that he does. And um, as a player, it's fun to, to go into training sessions. Every day you look forward to it because, you know, you're going to learn something new. Um, and I feel like I, you know, it was a short two weeks, but I feel like I got so much better from the start to end of camp. Um, and the best thing about it is, you know, I get to understand the principles of play that uh, we have here. And I think for a lot of the guys, uh, it's, it's good to have multiple weeks under Greg to get to learn his style so that if you do get called upon for uh, important games that you know exactly what you need to do to help the team win. Um, so for me, it was, it was really important to be at this camp and hopefully I can be at the January one as well.